Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have did this calling this delete method when the post component button is clicked. So that means whenever we are clicking on this child but child component button, we need to emit the event so that it should call the parents comp. We should make sure that it should call the parent component delete method. So this is the concept we have did here. This is the parent component delete method. This is the concept we have did it. Now how we have did that one in the post component aspect dot ts file. So we are getting all the child components and we are looping over the each child component. And after looping over this each child component, we are trying to catch the button from each component and we are triggering the event handler of click. So that we are checking that it should call the parents component delete method. That means it has been called with the particular post or not we have seen. Not, not only like this, so we have used this trigger event handler of click method. So that means, so we have, we have manually, so we have through code, we have pressed this, we have clicked this button. Now, not only like that we have used, we can, we can, we can also use the trigger event handler. And not only with the trigger event handler, if we know that we are sure that when this button event is, when this button is clicked, this method is called means. So that means in the post component, when this delete post is called. So we can also check in another way that, by taking this component instance and we will emit this delete event. So we know that this is a new event emitter and we will emit this de delete event from the component instance and we will see that whether this delete upon emitting the delete event, this delete method is called or not. We need to check. So that means whenever we are calling this delete event. So from this, from this child component. So whoever, whoever that is not only on delete post, any method, whoever calls this delete event delete event, whoever emits this delete event in this child component, we need to make sure that it should be called. So this should be called. So that means this delete method should be called. So how we can check before that we have checked using the delete button. So whenever the user has pressed on this button, has clicked on this button only, it will call this delete. We are checking this one. So we are not emitting the event and all those things. So we can check in another way that whoever the, in the child component emits the delete event, emits the delete em emitter it should call the delete event. So that is the concept. Why? Because in the post component, in this parent post component, we have written app iPhone post, whoever emits that one, this delete method has to be called. So like this also we can check it. So how we can check it? Let's try to see in this video. Here what I will try to do is, so here the same scenario. So this time not the button is click. So this time how we will try to write it? So here I will try to write, yeah. So it should call the delete method when the delete even uh, when the delete event is emitted in post component right so this is a very long title so here i will be using like this so now what we need to do first i need to mock the post service so i will be mocking the post service and i will call the engine in it so that all the child components will be initialized so all the child component means that post single post component child components will be initialized because we are sending the post data. So fine. So we are sending the post data. Now we need to get the child components. Post component D is, is equal to. So we know that fixture dot debug element. So dot query all. We need to make the query all. Why? Because we will be having more than one child component. And as we are trying to get the component. So we need to use the directive. So which component we need to get? So post component. So this is the post component. So now we got all the post component debug elements. So now, so we got the post component debug elements and here what I can do. So I am taking the first child component and I am taking the component instance from that one. So we can get the child component instance from the debug element by, by typing this component dot component instance. So if you do dot component instance, now you will get the post component. So here I can do the type conversion as post component. Okay. So now you will be getting the delete event. So here we are having all the methods and properties that are belonging to the child component. Now here I want to know the delete event. I will be emitting the delete event. Now here if you try to see in our child component, now we are trying to emit this delete event, right? So now here we are sending the post data, but actually there is no, there is no need for us to send the post data. Why? Because so if you try to see here the post component.html. So where is this one? Yeah, so we are taking the delete of post. So this post is belonging to this one, not with the event thing. 
Now if you want means you here you can do what I can do is so here I can remove this one okay I can use the void and here I can remove this one okay so that's it so this one also it should work why because so here in the parent component we are not depending on the post that was sent by the empty event so here the whatever the loop we are uh, looping so here I am using this post here so either way we can do it now here we are not sending this one so I will try to show it if you want you can send the post data here post of posts of zero first one you can send it so right now I am not sending I am doing the undefined so we will check like this also so we should we, we should make sure that it should have the first post so now what I can do expect the delete component dot delete so we are having component dot delete method which is the parent component so to have been called so we are, what we can do I need to spy on that one so I can spy on this component delete so I, I will be writing this spy on parent component delete method now I need to check that to have been called sorry have been called with which one with post of zero why because I am taking the first child component so that I can check here with the post of zero so now let's try to see this one if I try to see here so here let's try to see it to equal of post it is trying to see argument of type post is not expected of like one second okay so here we have already written the test in a such a way that uh, we we are we have written so to take the emitted event is taking the component so but, but we can also implement like this also so what i will try to do is i will try to make it uh, reverse so there is no need to send the post actually if you are if you want means you can send the post that's not a reason so but the all the tests we have written it is it is based on the test post thing so we cannot uh, so we can we, if you want means we can uh, uh, rewrite the testing test case and all those things but let's keep it like this so now you understood right now here i will try to send the post of zero okay so here we'll send the post of zero if you want so that's it now let's try to see this test so if i try to see this test everything got success now if i try to see here now in the post component there is a post component delete method so it should have been it has been successfully executed now if you want to see what i can do is so now we if you want you can loop over this one so how we have did so for let i is equal to 0 i less than post dot length sorry yeah post component d is not length i plus plus and here i can loop over this one okay and now here i can use the i if you want you can use this i so here also i can use this i now we are checking each child component that we are emitting the event and we are making sure that whenever the child component delete event is fired means emitted means then we need to make sure that it has been called with that proper post or not so if you try to see everything got success it has been successfully executed so this is how we can also check use uh, other than this trigger event handler we can also check that we are with using the component instance also so here the testing scenario is different and here the testing scenario is different so the testing scenario is here we have clicked on the button so that on delete post is executed so now the parent has to be executed the parent delete method has to be executed but here the concept is different so here we whoever the not only with the button click so whoever calls this event emitter emits this one so it needs to call the parents component delete method so like that we have checked it so in either way we can use it so and also another thing is so here if you want you can also send the post and you can also doesn't send the post it does the this emitted post does not depend on the parent component so parents parent component it doesn't depend on that emitted post here it is depending on the loop over post so if you want miss you can remove it for the test cases we have written like that so i'm keeping it like that only if you want miss you can rewrite the codes test cases and you can remove that post hope you understood about this one component instance thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you